Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Wicked Android HD, and today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of this beautiful dual channel kit Random Access Memory Kingston Hyper X Beast. Focus. Okay, so as you may see, it is a 16 gigabyte memory kit DDR3 for my Maximus 5V formula from Asus, and uh, they're running at 2.5 GHz, their latency is CL11 and uh, they run at 165 volts. So this is how the package looks like, sealed, beautiful and uh, it's transparent. Now let's get to the actual unboxing, so I'll just have to peel this, this thing off. I don't have my little unboxing knife right right next to me, so we'll do this by hand. Not such a big deal though. Okay. And then we'll just have to pop this off like this. And take a look at this focus right now. Beautiful. And then this is the Kingston Hyper X Beast 8 GB of RAM in my hand with some uh, interesting cooling system. It's very cold. Yep. And these are so the specs. It's a kit of two. It's a dual channel kit, as I told you. Kingston. Uh, the design is pretty awesome, if you ask me. As you may see on the video. Uh, this little plug in here tells us that it's a DDR3 ROM. It will only work on DDR3 socket on the motherboard. And let's get the other one, yeah, just to see how they look in pair like this they're gonna look like this on the motherboard yep beautiful shiny and I'll put this down these two pieces of random access memory down and I will get into my uh, PC to mount them and of course I'll show you how to mount these pieces of RAM into dual channel okay guys so this is the side of my personal computer uh, first of all in order to mount these two pieces of RAM all you have to do is to get off this side panel and uh, in my uh, speaking of my case I have these two screws right here which come from the back part so I can slide this side panel out like this carefully because I just cleaned it and this is the interior of my personal computer this is the mother base uh, processor uh, right uh, below the CPU water cooling system the Corsair H1 101 my uh, right down here this is my video graphics card and uh, yeah this is my case with all the things so this is the maximus v formula um, motherboard and with talking about the ram let me zoom in to show you my current ram configuration this is the one let's just uh, make it more clear okay so this is uh, my gil evo corsa uh, RAM. There is uh, a 4 gigabyte and 4 gigabyte um, piece of uh, RAM. So currently I have 8 gigabyte, and with these two, I will have uh, 24. 8 plus 16. Um, as you may observe, I have two slots, two empty slots, which are running in dual channel mode. So do these two ones, 
um, it, they can be easily uh, observed by uh, telling what color do every one of them uh, has so these ones are running in a red socket which means they are running in dual channel mode simultaneously and if it, you can see on the camera but they are on they're running on uh, the on a red socket and these ones right here they they seems to be black to me and that's where I'm gonna be installing these these uh, RAM um, so in order to install as you may see it's kind of difficult to install because uh, on my computer because these tubes uh, which uh, goes right into the CPU cooling system um, they're kind of hard to move but I'll try my best so how do you install these pieces here all you have to do is to unclick these sorry to unclick these ones like that so put them like that up up as you may see the difference and then you'll have to turn off the computer which I'm gonna be doing right now boom off the computer is off right now and then make sure you <coughs> let me focus this little gap over here you may see them make sure you link this gap to the one on the motherboard I don't know if you may see it if you can see it um, it's pretty pretty hard right now because the computer isn't working and I'll try my best to show you with the flash not guarantee you will see much more than that but as you may see right here there is a gap and that should be linked with the gap on the on these two pieces of RAM okay so I placed the phone like that with my flash with the flashlight in order to see the gap since it is a new branded a brand new RAM it will get harder in so let's just try again Excuse me. Excuse me. Is there any place for this little wrong to enter here? Is it? Oh, it's not. It should be like this. Okay. And then you simply have to click like that. Clicking like that. It is the socket is full right now. Let's get to the other one. Let's zoom in again. As you may see this clip is open here, and we'll do the same with this with the last piece of RAM. Okay, this is really hard. Okay, like that, so it's in. And then the same procedure. Sorry, oops. Okay, so it's in. Yep. Take a look. They look perfectly. They look perfect. Yellow and black. So right now. All my slots are full and I have 24 gig gigs of RAM. I will show you on my personal computer right away. Okay guys, this is it. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! 23.9 gigabyte. So 2 gigabytes after 24 gigabytes of RAM used. 
yes, it's a victory and I won't have any problems with Adobe's programs from now on. I am safe. So thank you for watching guys. This was the how to insert the RAM into socket tutorial and of course uh, in the first video the unboxing of HyperX Beast 60 gigabytes of dual channel kit from Kingston. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video please thumbs up and make sure you subscribe right now to my channel. Wicked Android is out guys. Bye bye.